Hi, I'm Louise. I've always used microscopes but never known how to do it properly, so I'm interested in learning about how they work and what different bits there are to it. Uh, I'm Louise Wolno. Uh, I'm a retired head teacher, and in recent years I've devoted a lot of time to developing and teaching courses about microscopy to a whole range of different people but particularly members of the beekeeping fraternity. Hello, I'm Chris Thomas. I used to work for a research company and was responsible for the microscopes there. And now I run my own company. Louise, we're going to set up a microscope for normal viewing of a specimen. The first essential is to ensure that your instrument is placed on a firm, solid base, which it is. Yep. The second important consideration is whether you're going to be sitting comfortably to use the instrument. So if you look through the eyepieces, can you do that yep, without any particular discomfort? That's comfortable. Good. Now we need to ensure that we have a supply of light. In this case we're using uh, an external arrangement to supply the power for the light. So you're going to need to switch on and turn up the wick until you see some light emerging from the base of the microscope. Okay. Fine. And that's not too bright. You don't want to have it too bright because you'll dazzle yourself when you look through the instrument if you do that. Now the next step is to make sure that the light can travel unimpeded through the optical system of the microscope. So let's open up the diaphragm at the base. Is that by turning the field diaphragm? Turning that. That's by turning that. Okay, that's opened. That no old arrangement. Good. Now we need to make sure that these filter trays are out of the way, clicked into position. Okay. Good. Next, we need to make sure that we have the correct objective lens in, in place. And we're going to use the times 10. Can you see there's one of the lenses with 10 written on it? Yep, that's got 10. So if I Good. just... Oh. Ah, and you heard it click into place. Yes. That's good. Now at this stage, if you look through the eyepieces, you should be able to see some light coming through. Yep. Do take the trouble to adjust the distance between the two eyepieces to suit the distance between your two eyes. Okay, and what, what, does it, what should it look like? You should see one single circular patch of light. Okay, yeah. Is that fine? That's good for me. Good. Now we need to put a specimen onto the stage. If you don't have a prepared specimen, the thing to do is to sprinkle a little drop of salt onto a plain microscope slide and cover it with a little strip of sellotape. But you have a prepared slide there. Yeah. So make sure that you put it on the right way up with the cover slip on the top. That goes on the stage. Okay, so that's, I'm assuming this holds it in. That's, that's the ticket, yes. Okay. That little clip holds the slide into position. Now you can adjust the position of your specimen using the mechanical stage control knobs. Um, am I looking for that little circle of light to be on yes, the specimen? Yes, the specimen needs to be directly above that little spot of light. Yes. That looks fine. Good. Now at this stage we're going to try to get a clear view of that when we look through the eyepieces. But don't look through the eyepieces yet. You're going to look from the side initially, and you're going to raise the stage using the coarse focusing adjustment. Okay, that's Watch. going up. Yep. Watch carefully to make sure that you don't smash the specimen okay. into the objective lens. How close do I want it? Well, you can go either until the stage stops moving, Mm -hmm. or until you're within about three or four millimetres of the lens. 
Does that look okay? That looks fine. Okay. Now you're allowed to look down the top. Take the stage back down again, step by step. Is it's not too the, bright, is it? It's a coarse one, isn't it? Yes, with the coarse one. Is that going down? Yes. Good. You've that was very sensible. You're checking to make sure that you're moving the stage in the correct direction. Oh, I can see something. Good. Progress. <laughs> so now you have an image. Yes. That's a lot of what we have to achieve. Um, actually achieve. We're going to try to refine this image now that you've seen. In order to do that, we want to ensure that the patch of light that's coming from the base of the microscope is superimposed on the specimen. Okay. Now in order to do that, we close down this iris diaphragm as much as we can, so there's a very small gap for the light to come through yeah. at the base. Now you're going to look through the eyepieces and use this knob to move the condenser up and down okay. until you can see a small patch of light with very sharp edges and that should be in the center of your field of view. Yep, yeah, I've got that. Well done. Now it's a matter of opening up this iris diaphragm until you just fill the field of view with light. Okay. Well done. Finally, we're going to try to match the size of the cone of light that's coming from the specimen to the front element of the objective lens so that it just nearly fills the objective lens. Okay. If we have too large a cone, we shall get a lot of surplus light, which will degrade the image. If we get a cone which is not big enough, then we won't see the detail properly. So it's a matter of taking out one of the eyepieces, and if you look down, you should be able to see a circular patch of light. Yep. Now, we adjust the diaphragm below the condenser. Okay. This is called the aperture diaphragm. Okay, and what... You're looking from a distance, and you're going to try to arrange things so that you can just see the edge of that diaphragm. Oh, yes, it's come in, it's come in from the edge. And it should just be visible around the edge. Yep, I've got that. Good. Pop your eyepiece back. And now, look down your eyepieces again and use your fine adjustment to just ensure that you have that a is really crisp image. Nice in focus. Are you pleased with that? I am. Yes. Well done. Right, take 257. If you want to learn more about microscopy, all you need to do is ask these two and they'll tell you everything. Uh, we're not just the founts of all knowledge, we rely on other people as well. And we're a member of several societies and clubs. So, for example, there's the Cricket Microscopical Club. Yes, there's the Postal Microscopy Society and the Royal Microscopical Society. And if you look online, you'll also find various sites such as Mixscape, which are great for people who are interested in microscopy. And of course, look on YouTube and find our videos. Thank you. Bye.